All right, so what's up guys, it's been GD here from Get Fix. In today's video, we're gonna be repairing a Asus computer. So the owner mentioned that the back of it got hit and somehow it just stopped working. Um, every time he attempts to turn it on, it's a black screen. So I just hit the power button. We get some fan spin. I see a green LED back here. It stops, it's going stops it's going and it's currently not displaying anything on the monitor neither so we're just getting constant fan spin stop spin stop it's almost as if it's not able to boot up on the hard drive so this may be a hard drive issue so let's see if i could find a way to hard reset the computer on the internal components maybe through a jump when i'm not in my studio space recording some things just don't come out as clear as i want them to but what i was pretty much saying is that you want to make sure that you check the hdmi for example let's say you're using hdmi to output the video feed correct you want to try a different port, whether that's a VGA port or a DVI port. You want to alternate between the ports to see if it's the port that's the issue specifically. Pretty much when you're troubleshooting, what I recommend you do is do one step at a time. So if you're going to test out the RAM, you want to switch out the slots, maybe put in a different slot. Do that and then turn on the PC to see if that fixes the issue. Do one step at a time and every time you do a different step, turn on the computer. Personally, when I was recording the video, however, I did so many different things all at once and then I powered on the computer and somehow it turned on. So I'm not sure which method worked. So here's a few things I did. When I was getting the on and off fan spin, what I did was I used a little jumper and I am gonna display a picture of that jumper just so you know what I'm referring to. Now, after changing the position of the jumper, what I realized is that the PC's fan continuously spun, which let me know that there's power continuously surging through a motherboard. And at the same time, the PC is still still on it remained on that pretty much brought me a step closer to repairing the pc now step two what i ended up doing was i went into the ram sticks i removed them switched the slots of the ram sticks and then i put them back in their slot because i switched the slots and i turned on the pc it still wasn't working so i shifted the ram sticks right back to the slots they were previously in but i want you to test out different slots to see if that resolves the issue so that didn't fix it um, I did several other things. For example, I turned off the power supply from the main source itself, like that red button in the back that you're able to um, flick. I was able to go to the back of the power supply and I flicked it off while the PC was still on. Um, and then I turned off the PC, turned on the PC, and it seems like the PC started working after that. And somehow I got it to work. Once again, I tried a whole bunch of methods before I actually powered on the PC. So I'm not sure which one of those methods worked for it. But once again, make sure everything's connected. Make sure um, you disconnect and reconnect the hard drive. Maybe change the position or the output that is connected to. And you should get your computer back up and running. Once again, the owner did say that the issue occurred after he accidentally hit the back of his PC. He could not get a consistent fan spin. So that let me know that it was a booting issue. And I thought it was the graphics card. I thought it was the HDMI port. It's a matter of troubleshooting and figure out what was actually wrong with it. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, it's been GD here from Get Fixed. And I'm out. Peace.